Hello, everybody. If you are a fan of the occult, especially the darker side of the occult, if you like learning about the stuff that is done in the shadows, boy, do we have an event for you. We want to welcome you to Tales of Survival from the Dark Side. Wow, what a lineup of speakers we have. I've had the privilege of meeting incredible survivors on my channel, uh, Aquarius Rising Africa, over the past four years. And it's been an amazing journey for me to bring them over and just share with more new people sharing their stories. Now, guys, this is going event is going to be held over on Gnostic TV. And Indeed. tickets are are now on sale. They're 50% off, right, Shanti? So we have a link yeah. below. Um, and also, if you want to watch the full trailer of the event, which cannot be shown on YouTube, you can hop over to Gnostic TV and watch that trailer as well. We're looking to release this panel live on Gnostic TV on Friday, October the 11th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So tickets are 50% off. And yeah. once, you, once you've bought your ticket, you can watch as many shows as you want and you can watch them as many times as you want. Support our survivors. They deserve to be heard. And there's nothing better, more healing for a survivor, for a survivor than to be told, I believe you. So thank you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please make sure to ask Shanti or me down in the comment sec section below. Otherwise, we look forward to seeing you guys over on Gnostic TV. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. And of course, today we're also Esoteric Australia. I'm joined with one of my favorite human beings in the whole wide world on camera and off camera, Tamara. I feel like we get to film like all the time now because I'm the fan. <laughs> I know. It's great, isn't it? I went, oh my God, I'll be able to do brides, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's coming um, up. We might be fun. filming like every like, day. When, when are we doing it? Can we do it that one? Can we do it, you know, <laughs> let's leave it until Monday. Yeah, because I think when we did our last, was our last one on Monday of last week? I think it was Friday of last week with Ricardo because we did two last week. And yeah, and I told you guys, I told my audience yesterday, and I'll remind you guys, I know primarily the esoteric land, I do a lot of deep dives into history and looking at the connections that present themselves today however you guys i i'm sure if you're an american watching this you probably understand this and i'm sure most people around the world understand this for the next couple of weeks leading up to the we're not going to be doing a lot of historical deep dives we're going to be looking at current events because every single day it feels like dropping and so i want to be able since we built such an incredible community here of people who are awake and are their consciousness is open. I want at this moment, I want us to be able to really come together um, in the here now. And then once everything settles and we're, we'll go back to looking at the, at the past, but right now, these next couple of weeks, we're going to be doing a lot. Who knows? We're just kind of leaving it open because we don't, we know stuff's coming, but we don't know exactly what's coming, when it's coming. So, um, so I want to be able to leave that open. And I said this yesterday and you guys can leave this in the comment section below, or you can email me at esotericlana at gmail.com. If there is something, a current event that's crazy that's going on into your, in your country right now, and you're not an American, or if you are an American, it's in a state and I I haven't mentioned it because I haven't seen the news. Um, send it to me so I can present it on the channel to help us as a global community, like support each other. Because I, Tamara, I told you, I have been just, I'm like, it's like this nervous energy and it's everywhere. It's everywhere. And it's not like bad nervous, but it's also not good nervous. It's just, we know something, we know things we are know coming. Something, yeah. It's like and, I was talking to Erica today and she said, you know, it's it's about to happen. I went, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's about to happen. You know, okay. We, said, yep. we have a look at November and you. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, here we go. All right, so we know that we're in God's karmic year and November is the beginning for humanity. Okay, it's the beginning for humanity in November. 
So the new beginning, God's karmic year. Right, now I wanted to cover something in regard to this last week of October. So on Monday, you will experience the last week of the month, which will usher in endings, endings, endings in all areas of your life. So you guys really need to get ready for this because it's going to hit you. And like I say, if you stand back long enough, people will show you who they really are, right? So you're going, a lot of you, you're going to be experiencing this. You're, it's like, it's like you've been awake and it's like you're waking up to everything in your life that is not the way that you want it to be and people in your life that are not treating you the way that you choose to be treated. And I know like with my Born to be Free, I always say people will treat you in a way that you believe that you deserve to be treated. So you've got like, like a double-edged sword that's going on there. So it's teaching you what it is that you've put up with and why it is that you've put up with it. And we'll go, it will be, well, why have I allowed this person to treat me like this all of this time? And then you'll work that through and you'll get the end, you'll get the answers for you then to deal with it. Okay. So things will be really intense until the 22nd of November. Um, with things firing up after that date. Keep an eye on your emotions on the 1st and the 2nd. Make sure that you keep calm and that you don't allow yourself to be affected that will have you flipping out because that's not going to get you anywhere. So really calm really centered on the 1st and the 2nd of November, okay, because things are going to be happening, okay. Um, a lot, uh, things are also indicating a lot of emotional anger being expressed on the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th. A lot of forceful communication starting on the 3rd, and you may feel like others are giving you orders. So take heed from the 3rd right through until the end of, um, of November, okay? So aggressive energy concerning all relationships until the 12th when things take on a more logical approach, okay? So just, you know, like... These energies come in, it affects us in that way, and then all of a sudden the energies changes and therefore we get affected in another way, right? So we think that we're actually in charge of our emotions where a lot of the time we're not, especially when it comes to all of these energies because when you're looking at your numerology, when you're looking at um, things to do with ancient astrology, um, it just you'll just find yourself feeling this way or feeling that way. And, and I like it. I like to make it very, very clear to people that what exactly is going on so that you don't blame yourself. Like a lot of people are really, really hard on themselves. I shouldn't be this and I shouldn't be doing that. And it's got nothing to do with you. It's got to do with what's being played out. Okay. From the fourth, expect a huge surge of energy indicating battles. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. From the fourth. So that'll be from the 4th through until the end of the month. So best to step aside and don't get involved. A huge aspect in trusting in God and that all is as it should be, no matter how unsettling it is. All right, so you just need to say to yourself, like, this is God's plan, this is God's plan, this is God's plan, and just keep chilled. Uh, two energies will be pulling in different directions all month. So what we've got here is that we've got we've got we've got God and Jesus and we've got the devil. Yeah. Right? We've got the evil energy. And all oh, month these, these are going to be these two these two forces, right? And it's called right who's going who's going to win here. Okay. And I we already know right what who's going to be winning, uh, but like that's really interesting. 
Um, now, a lot, a lot of work still going on behind the scenes. Re money, big business, government, etc. So things are being like, and I, I got they, they were showing me that things were being slotted into place. That's being slotted into place. That's being slotted into place. That one's being slotted into place. Yeah, and then on the twentieth, we know what happens on the on the twentieth. It's like that's when we get the changeover of the last of that Pluto that we've been dealing with since the second of September. That's to do with what? That's to do with everything working behind the scenes. To do with money, big business, government, etc. Okay. So those so, are Capricorn to Aquarius. That's that, yeah. That's yeah. That there, yeah, that's a Capricorn, and then it comes over to the Aquarius, and then we've got it in Aquarius then for the twenty years, and that is the real age of Aquarius, right? That's going to happen. So, you know, we've done this journey over the past like four years, mm -hmm. but it couldn't come to its head until Pluto moved out of Capricorn. Yeah. And, and really started its solid journey in Aquarius. Yeah. It, could, it couldn't happen because all of that Pluto was doing all of that energy with all of that Capricornian energy to do with the business, the money, like, and what's really, really important. Yeah? Okay? Um, now, things are going to become a lot more balanced. At the end of the month, so around the 26th, 27th, 28th of November. That's our thing. That's our th you mentioned Thanksgiving, didn't you? That's the 28th of November is our Thanksgiving here in the United States. I, I think that was, I think that was with the show, um, with you guys, with you yeah, and Ricardo. Yeah, you mentioned something about that. Yep. So just the 28th is our Thanksgiving, this is the last Thursday in November oh. is always our Thanksgiving. Oh, okay, all right. Well, there you go. All yeah. right, so that's, um, so it becomes a lot more balanced like a lot more balance and a lot more harmony on that particular day. Okay, so now here we go on to this. Now, some other dates were shown to me as being important. The 8th of November, the 17th of November, and the 26th of November. Now, what happens is that we're actually having a triple energy vibration hitting the planet that will be affecting all of us. So if you look at it, the 8th of November 2024 is 8, 11, 8. The 17th of November 2024 is what? An 8, 11, and an 8. And the 26th of November, the same, 8, 11, 8. All right, so they're going to be, um, that's just going to be like an interesting one. Then um, they said we are going into a new energy surge on the planet where we will all be forced to face reality. Everything that has been, uh, right, reality, everything that it's been and right the wrongs that you see. So no more avoiding what is. So we're all going to, this is again November, righting the wrongs that we have seen, righting the wrongs that we've seen and tried to ignore. No more ignoring. Uh-uh-uh-uh. No, that ain't happening no more. And if you try to ignore it, it's going to come up in your face. Okay? It's going to be very, 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 very interesting. Uh, so no more avoiding what is. The more you avoid and deny, the more suffering you will experience. Wow. Yeah. Um, now is not the time for fear. It's time for us all to stand in our power, open, opening our eyes and minds and face the truth. November, new beginnings in the world, a new cycle will begin. Then I saw an explosion with a big plume of smoke going up into the sky. Um, then, um, I could hear, you know, like in, in World War II in England, when they'd have the air, they'd sound the sirens. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I can hear air raid sirens like in the war. Okay. Um, people around, 
And then I saw people sitting around eating out of cans. Okay. Um, and a lot of people in shock staring at a wall. Okay. Just in, in shock, shock, absolute shock, staring at the wall. Destruction, dilemma, leaving things behind, focus on making you a better person. Okay. Um, things being exposed, lots to do with money, many celebrating, reaching a long-awaited outcome. Well, that'd be all of us. <laughs> I think we've been waiting this long-awaited outcome, you know, all of a sudden it's like here it is. You know, I think we're all going to, we're all going to fall in a heap, you know. And, um, and, I was to, and I was talking to the Moses and today and I said something and I think it was either today or yes, yesterday. Anyway, I don't know. You know, my days just all blend in together. Uh, but Ricardo's wife said, good, when are the dates, right? When are the dates for that? And I said, well, like this and that. She said, great, I can sleep. I can sleep for 10 days. Great, 10 days of time, I can sleep. So, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of sorrow about the past that will be exposed. A new cycle, Aquarian energy, sleep, time out, money and properties, security concerning looking at uh, security concerning money and properties and looking to America. So they were showing me people like looking looking toward America and like and a lot of concern, like a lot of concern on their faces. Um, death of the old ways, um, no longer of. Oh, no, yeah, death of the old ways. We will no longer be played for fools. Right, so that's for November. I hope you guys enjoyed this short form of Tamara's horoscope, her astrology for November 2024. Of course, if you go down into the description box below under show notes, you will see a link to the long form of this interview. This in interview actually lasted a couple of hours. Of course, you guys know exactly why I have to only put the edited short form, which is only about 17 minutes here on YouTube. And of course, the long form is over on the other platform. So if you would like to watch the longer format of this, please follow the link below. Of course, as always, if you are from France or Norway or any other country that does not have access to the long form and you would like access to the long form, please send me an email at esotericatlanta at gmail.com with your country in the subject line. I will be more than happy to send you the long form. It is not your fault that you don't have access to the other platform. Otherwise, I hope that you enjoyed the short form. Hopefully, this short form will help those that need it. And yeah, I guess we'll see you over on the other platform for the longer form of this interview.